Welcome to my Christmas draft of RTR. Once again, this is Andre Gades de Jardin. I'm going to help new and maybe intermediate players, new players especially, intermediate players to spark some discussion. I do some drafting. So what sticks out in this tract is the Guild Mage, the Roustabout, and the Griffin. And it's honestly the Guild Mage, not close. He just does a lot. So in this pack, it's the Centaur Healer, and the Void Wheeler, and the Griffin. Well, the Healer is really good. I think I'm going to take the Void Wheeler to go along with my uh, Guild Mage. So with this pack, we have Explosive Impact, uh, Inspiration, and this guy's okay. Um, explosive Impact really is the card, but as everyone knows, I hate going three colors. So I'm going to take this guy. All right. So here it's Annihilating Fire and Syncopate. I'm not getting much white, so I'm starting to think maybe I take the Annihilating Fire and go red-blue. Annihilating Fire is a, a really good card. So is the auger spree, to be honest. Okay. So here there's an arrester and a chain walker. Uh, if we're going, I'm theoretically going is it, and I would really like the chain walker for the is it colors. Do, 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 do. I mean, you'd probably still splash for that new Bob Guild Mage, because he's really good. Okay. So here, there's not a lot of anything. Uh, the Racketeer, or the Courier, or Electricery. I'm just going to take the Racketeer. He filters a card. He's pretty average. All right. So, there's the Gross Gross Judicator and Clobber Brute. And to be honest, nothing compares to the power le level of this uh, Justicator. There's just nothing. Clobber Brute is a really high pick for Is It. The Skywatch is fine, but even if I don't play that Justicator, its power level is so high. Excuse me. Oh, forget it. All right. So we have Azurius, Guildgate, and Crasher. I know I can have a tendency to pick up a lot of Crashers late. So right now I'm maybe going three colors, which I hate, so I'm going to take some early fixing. Wow, uh, I can't believe that roast about made it back. Um, Dino, like, this is unplayable, so Dino Charge is the only pick in the pack, unless I don't want to see roast about more. But right now, I'll take Dino Charge. Um, I'm just going to take Spawn of Rick's Maudie. I won't play it, but it's, its power level is way beyond anything else in this pack. I shouldn't say I won't play it. If I open up, like, Desecrator Demon or something, I would play it. Uh, I'm just going to take the Guild Gate and move it away. Uh, drain Pipe Vermin. No. Sewer Shambler is really good to be getting this late. I'll take the island over search warrant, to be honest. So I don't have a lot of playables right now. Up here. Well... 
So if I was uh, picking for a PTQ, it's between Buster Squall and Impact, and I would take Buster Squall, but a Model Worm, my bet is worth, is worth a couple of ticks, at least one tick. So I'm going to take the Amada Worm, move it to the side. Ah, can I feel like jumping right into Rakdos? The fact there's Spawnrex, Mahdi, and Sewer Shambler makes me feel I can go to Rakdos. As bad as that is. That seems very bad, and I normally wouldn't recommend it. I normally just take the Armory Guard or the Judgment, but I'm taking the Flailer and abandoning ship. And I'll take the chain walker. Normally, if I guess if I was staying ship, it'd be the Husser Patrol or the Drake, but I'm taking chain walker. I'm abandoning this whole American ship. As terrible as that is, and that is terrible. And I never suggest you do it. I still might end up playing blue. Cause like I don't want to be playing Drain Pipe Vermin. I'll regret myself if regret if I ever put this video up. So uh See now some good white blue stuff is coming my way, but I'm taking Frostborn weird! Because I want to play the Rakdos deck. And I feel the fact there's a dead reference or annihilating fire has rewarded me for this. But at the same time, there's a centaur tail in this pack. So the pick is annihilating fire. Though dead revelers pretty, pretty good. I think I feel I want to be more red, which is usually what I end up doing when I play Rakdos. Yeah, I really have a strong feeling people aren't playing Rakdos because uh, Splatterthug. He's a good guy. Ah. Uh, Am I going to run three Annihilating Fires? The answer is yes. Yes, I'm going to run three Annihilating Fires. The answer to that is so yes. So here it's Rocketeer or Skullrend. I may not end up... Right now, I'm taking Rocketeer because I need creatures. I may use his cycling. His cycling can come in fine. All right, now it's Pursuit of Flight or Mind Rot, and the answer is Pursuit of Flight. Not close. So Bell's, it's Dead Reveler. Like, I'm playing mono three drops here. He has no reason being this late in the pack. Uh, I'm just gonna take the inspiration so other people don't get it. Uh, Swift Justice is a fine combat trick I would rather not deal with against. <sighs> Excuse me. Honestly, I don't like Bellows Lizard. I'm going to take D Spell. Because right now it encounters one, two, three of my Annihilating Fires. And Dyna Charge if I decide to play that. So I don't know. I wouldn't mind another Spawn of Rick's Maudi in the next pack. Like Clover, Squanamix, Maudie, 
some bigger things I think would be better but honestly like I'm quite happy okay so here there's an addition charm which is really good uh, there's a chain walker sewer sampler a long legs and an instinct I'm almost tempted to take the charm. I'm sure something would get back to me. I'm just not sure how well the charm holds up to just having an instinct. Actually, I think I should take the instinct. My deck could probably really use the treacherous instinct. I would guess the Chain Walker, the Shambler, or the Long Legs will make it back, and I can just play two colors and be happy I'm playing two colors. So, uh, well, I was going to say, oh no, I should have done it because I have the Teleportal, but there's a Desecration Demon here, right uh, here. So I have to take him over the Splatter Thug and the Deviant Glee. I doubt the Thug will make it back, but hopefully the Glee will. All right. So here it's Crasher or Roustabout. I think I do want the Roustabout. I really do like the guy. Crasher might be okay to have a bigger guy, but I think I just want another two drop to make my deck that much more consistent and take the Roustabout. So like this is stupid. The fact this is still in the pack is stupid, but at this point I'm taking Splatter Thug. I'm committed. I'll happily just take Splatter Thug. So, a Rakdos Charm, a Launch Party, or a Guild Gate? What's the charm? The charm isn't particularly helpful. Ah, uh, normally I'd be thinking the launch party, but with three annihilating fires and a treacherous instinct, I don't think I need it that badly. So it's going to be the guild gate. Um, right now it's between Clover Brute and Jailbreaker. They jump out. Would have been nice to know I could have really splashed for that Is It charm. But uh, with two gates, I'm going to take the Jailbreaker, even if he can't attack. He, he, he's pretty hard to uh, block or attack through when I have him home blocking. Okay. So it's a uh, chain walker or an electricery. Huh. One, two, three. I have. I think I can do one more two drop with another chain walker. Electricery is a fine side card. But no, I think I do want just the other chain walker right now. Um, Dramatic Rescue is a really high power level, but not particularly against this deck. Swift Justice is pretty good, and I'm probably not going to play the Batterhorn, so I'm just going to get rid of the Swift Justice. Okay, so I'll take the Long Legs as a fine 5 drop. May or may not play it. All right, sweet, the Deviant Glee made it back, which I suspected it would. I'm not playing Perilous Shadow at four. I want the Deviant Glee at one. Um, each discard, two cards at random. I'll take Skullrend maybe for side. I'll take get rid of an Armory Guard. He's hard to attack through for me. I'm not playing the slug. I'm not playing that guy. And I'm not playing the forest. So, that's a very odd draft. I normally wouldn't suggest doing what I did. But I feel what I did was the correct thing. I don't think anybody was taking red at all. Except for the explosive impacts. We'll see y'all deck building.